Hello, and thank you for following along with me as I share some of what I experienced and observed during my drowning death on a South American river. This is episode number five of Strengthen Your Walk with me, Dr. Mary Neal, the author of New York Times bestselling books, To Heaven and Back, and Seven Lessons from Heaven. In today's episode, I'm going to continue talking about death, <laughs> my favorite topic. Now, at the end of the last episode, I mentioned that although I didn't recognize the people who had greeted me in heaven, they definitely recognized me, and they were overjoyed to welcome me home. Many people ask what these heavenly people look like, and it's often in the context of worrying that they or their loved ones will still suffer earthly ailments in heaven. The people who greeted me were radiant and ageless, whole and healthy. I've also heard stories from congenitally blind people who said they could see during their own near-death experience, and paralyzed people who could walk, jump, and run. The Apostle Paul reassured us in Colossians 15 that the splendor of our heavenly body is different than our earthly one, and that when the tent of our earthly home is destroyed, we will have a new eternal one from God. The people who greeted me were also entirely reconciled with each other and with God, even though I knew that hadn't necessarily been the case when they died. I felt like these people, these spiritual beings, had been my life's greatest cheerleaders. And I seemed to know that if Jesus hadn't been with me when I was dying, they would have been. I've also spoken with many people who fear dying alone or feel deep sorrow when they imagine their own loved ones having died alone. But we know that above all else, God is love. <laughs> and Romans 8.38 declares that nothing can separate us from God's love. And if those two statements are true, then no one ever dies alone, because that would be the equivalent of giving a son a stone when he asks for bread, or a snake when he asks for fish, as was rhetorically suggested in Matthew 7. Secondly, we're promised in both the Old and New Testaments that God will never leave us, and certainly that includes at the time of our death. My own experience in combination with the thousands of deathbed stories I've been told by others and God's biblical promises convinces me that no one ever dies alone, no matter the circumstances and no matter what it looks like to the outside world, because God's love truly spans this gap between life and death. Thank you for listening today, and I'll continue sharing my thoughts during the next episode of Strengthen Your Walk.